Well, I want so in this video, let me walk you through my very first open source contribution. Uh, as you can see, here is the one uh, in which it is merged. So what I'll go through now is I will take you through how I actually did this contribution, and we'll go through step by step into how I identified some issues. I'll go through the code and so what. So when you land upon this, so first of all, the first question is how will you find out such open source? can say uh, repositories in which you can contribute there are a lot of ways i'll make another video on that as well because it requires a little bit more time but let's say that you land upon some repository now you have to first go to the issues section and go through some of the good issues that they have okay you can find out whatever issue you can like if it is already having some conversations do check if it is already assigned or not if it is already uh, already assigned ask the developer or the maintainer to get you the access and then only start contributing or else talk in the head as to them okay if some of them already has well as you can say already has a pr that is linked to them some has some conversation so just read to the read through the conversation and talk to the maintainer and then only start contributing okay what my luck got is that the contributor just opened a issue and i just thought i can solve it that's why i just picked it up so let me go through of what's the PR, what's the issue the maintainer has started. The maintainer has opened this particular issue. The issue was that when creating a module using PYCTL, so this, so I first understand, don't understand what is this. So I was going through a lot of issues, whatever issues they have, I was going through all of them and trying to understand what actually means. So I just thought, okay, okay what is CYCTL? So, uh, so I just go through there, read me, and I use try to find out what whatever anything is so you can see that they have what is this so it's their command line interface it's just CLI to interact with their cyclops uh, product so they have a CLI as well so I just thought okay they have a CLI now in a CLI you, you need to provide flags to define repo path and version of the template so they are saying that when you are creating a module using their uh, CLI you have to provide some path repo and version of the template you are using now your scope is to add another flag called template which accepts a string and it provides this CLI of them to fetch the, the same template from the template store. Okay, so in simple terms, you are providing this things every time you are creating a module. They say that we have those templates stored somewhere. So why not just fetch them uh, depending upon the path and then uh, create those new modules depending upon the template. They have told you of how to fetch the template as well. Okay, so they have told you that this is the code of, uh, yeah, here it is. To fetch the template, you can call this to call the and like get the template as well if you provide the template name. Okay, so that is what they have also told us. So why not just use this because it just required template name as an input here. Okay, and then you can get the template. Okay. So I just thought, okay, pretty much simple, not difficult at all. So why I thought key, why not just use this code to fetch the templates because it is just fetching the template. Okay, this is the list call. This is the list call. I think so. There is also a get call. Yeah, this is the get call. Okay, I am not using the list call. I was they provided the link to the list call, but there is also a get call in which you can directly provide the template name and you can get from the template name like you can directly get the template okay, instead of getting a list of array templates i just want only one template so why not use this so i go through all the code one by one try to understand what every and then i try to contribute so which i understand that okay i can fetch the template so then what's the next step to contribute the next thing is go to the repository you can see here and then fork it okay by forking i means that you can see here this particular term uh, just click on this it will fork the complete repository on your so as you can see this is here like this is the cyclops and i will not open it but it will start cloning it on your particular profile it will clone it and then take that clone repository and you can say uh, you can say take that forked that is the forked repository you have the forked, forked repository then clone it to your local okay then you can if you go here you have the thing that you can uh, shh or github cli you can just get uh, if you just copy this git clone this repository you will get the git clone okay so now you have the clone of this repository loop okay so first of all you will fork it after forking the repository clone that 
in your local and open it in whatever editor you want so let's say i open it if it is in goland i open it in goland now we have to contribute we have known key templates are there so i just like cloned their particular whole code and it's directly just first instance i just see cyctl because i thought key this is the cli so there will be something so i open it i just opened some internal and i see create so i want to create a module so i just open the create part and it has modules so i want to create a module so it has very structured code so i was able to find out where the module part is very easily and then i look that okay yes they have flags here as well which mentioned what type of things i want to add so they have the repo flag version names all the flags are here so i just want to add a new flag that is a template flag so i just copy the same thing out created a template flag here now i just got one doubt i got a doubt that if it already has like if the user provide both the namespace repo and the template it should be either one of them either i will get it from the template or you provide provide me the repo path and world which means that both of them should not be possible so i then ask the maintainer here go to my issue you can see that i then i ask the maintainer that okay if if you provide both template flag and all of those flags well it is good so they said ki okay let's throw an error okay if both of them are present so then what i did was okay so i have to write down some custom validation for that so i just thought ki where it is called i just open this i just thought okay it is called from here create module it has to run so it will run this particular command so i just thought okay before creating and where this actual main function written here so i just thought ki it is in the same file only okay nothing much i am in the same file I just scroll up. This is the main function that is used to create modules. That will create the model. We'll go to that part. But I just thought that before creating the model, we just check that either the template is present or the repo path and version is. Okay, so that is what we have written. Just a simple custom validation before calling this mod function here, and then in calling the function, now I have to check that whether I have the template. If I have the template name. or i have so i have passed the template name here as well okay in the uh, function call so if i have taken the function call i have the template name i have also passed the template okay and where is the template name this template name is here which we will get it from template if you have a template flag we'll store that value in the template name and that template name will be passed to that particular function and when this function call is done i will to check that whether the uh, it has a template name if it has a template name we'll call it by the same function that i have Here the get function. If I'll got this after getting this from the template name, I've got the template. So now I will. So initially, either all these values, repo, path, and version, will be passed through those flags, or else if they are not passed through flags, I will fetch it from the template. So I will fetch it from the template, and then pass it like uh, put it inside the flag, uh, like not the flag, those variables, so that when the new module is created, it will pick up these. Values. I you thought ki why like how I get these values? I've gone through the structure of how this template is stored, like how we have fetched this template. Also, the template has all of its like you have URL path and all of that. So the template has some sort of structure. So I go through the structure of the template. So I just thought ki what inside template because if you are fetching the template, the template will obviously having this repo path and version. So I just thought where is the repo? So I just look into here. The repo is mapped to like this URL. is a url which is mapped to repo which means that i just thought ki okay in the template part we have a url path and version that is mapped to these three values because we are passing these three values and when we are passing these three values it is created as a template and then stored that is why we can refetch the template and those templates will be having the values in url path and version when i fetch those values i will get it from url path and version and restore it in the repo path and version so that i can so i think so it's not that much difficult it just uh like just going through this i just have gone to two three files not even gone through the whole repo because i just have to modify the create module uh, and then i just created a flag and just write down some custom validation to just take either the template or the repo path and version and then uh, just fetch it here and just store it in the if i have the template name i will just and that is what i've done in the small can say contribution that i have also done so uh, i've gone uh 
one well, as you can see here that i have just done the same things i've added that template name i have just added the flag added a custom validation get pass that name all this here and this that's the complete. that is the small a uh, contribution i did but it uh, it got on. and then i got some kudos as well at the end yeah. so that is what i've done uh as a first i have done four contributions i will make different videos on top of every contribution i will do but that is how i have done it feel free to reach out to me if you have any doubts if you want to also do very fun part you'll learn a lot along this way thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one lucky